Electricity powers our everyday lives, yet it's still mostly treated like magic. When we try to picture this intangible concept, many of us picture or imagine a Tesla coil, a device spitting purple bolts of electricity that dance across the inside of a glass sphere. This iconic image owes its name to Nikola Tesla, one of the early pioneers of electricity and a genius who took mostly invisible phenomenon and brought it into reality. Today we're going to look at the tribulations of his misunderstood genius and discover exactly how he impacted our modern world and the wireless world. Tesla's legacy as an inventor spans a wide range of fields. His inventions and discoveries not only propelled the development of electrical engineering and physics, but also laid down the groundwork for future innovations in communication, energy, and even medical technologies. Tesla's development of the alternating current electrical system is perhaps the most renowned contribution to science and technology. AC power became the dominant mode of electrical transmission in the world, primarily because it could be easily transformed to different voltages. Reducing the power loss over long distances, Tesla's design for AC generators, transformers, and transmission systems formed the backbone of the modern electrical grid, enabling efficient distribution and utilization of electricity across vast distances. Tesla coils spawned from his research, invented in 1891, to produce high voltage, low current, high frequency AC electricity. The Tesla coil's dramatic electrical arcs now are mostly used for education, presenting an entertaining and visceral demonstration of electricity to young scientists. Tesla's infatuation with AC power come from his dream to create a wireless world of electronic transmission. Tesla envisioned a world interconnected by a system of towers that would transmit electrical power and communications wirelessly over long distances. Although his grand vision of global wireless transmission was never realized in his lifetime, Tesla's experiments laid the groundwork for future development of wireless communication technologies, including radio, television, and the internet. Tesla's patents of wireless transmission were critical to the development of radio technology preceding even those by Marconi, who is historically credited with the invention of the radio. In 1943, the Supreme Court ruling recognized Tesla's contribution to the radio and radio technology by overturning Marconi's patent in favor of Tesla. Outside of traditional electronic transmission, Tesla's experiments with electromagnetic radiation contributed to several tangential fields, such as radar technology, used for detecting enemy objects during war, and the development of X-ray imaging. Tesla's engineering skills also proved fruitful in a wide range of related disciplines. The Tesla turbine, for example, is a bladeless turbine that operates far more efficiently than a traditional steam turbine system by creating a non-slip surface around the area being pushed. Tesla dreamt of using the Tesla turbine in geothermal power extraction to reduce fuel wastage. He was far ahead of his time in thinking about the impact of energy generation on our environment. Tesla had ingenuity coded into his DNA. Born in 1856, in a small village located in modern-day Croatia, Tesla's parents were a significant influence on his early life. His father was a Serbian Orthodox priest, whose deep knowledge of literature and philosophy profoundly impacted Nikola, instilling a love for learning and intellectual exploration. Tesla's mother was an inventor of practical household appliances and had a remarkable memory. She could craft tools and mechanical devices purely from imagination a trait that Tesla clearly inherited. Tesla's fascination with electrical phenomena was sparked by demonstrations of his physics professors. In 1875, Tesla enrolled at the Austrian Polytechnic in Graz, Austria, on a military frontier scholarship. He worked relentlessly, supposedly studying from 3 a.m. to 11 p.m., and going on to earn the highest grades possible in nine exams. Even geniuses have their pitfalls, though. The stress of Tesla's obsession with study developed into a gambling addiction. He lost his scholarship, and despite continuing his experiments, he never graduated from the Polytechnic. His education was further troubled during his attendance at Charles Ferdinand University in Prague. Tesla's father passed away at this time, which was not only a massive emotional hit to this budding scientist, but a dire financial constraint. Amidst all of his personal strife, however, Tesla learned the basics of physics and philosophy that would eventually land him his first job. In 1882, Tesla started work at the Continental Edison Company in France. Yes, that Edison. This position offered him the opportunity to engage directly with the burgeoning field of electrical engineering. Tesla's role involved designing and improving electrical equipment, 
which allowed him to gain practical experience and hone his electrical design and problem solving skills. Tesla's work at the Continental Edison Company was a pivotal phase in his career as he faced practical challenges of electrical engineering, including installing indoor incandescent lighting systems and improving DC dynamos and motors. Tesla's ambition and vision for the future of electricity soon led him to the United States. In 1884, armed with a letter of recommendation from Charles Batchelor, a colleague of Tesla's from France, Tesla sailed to New York City with hopes of meeting and working for the famed inventor Thomas Edison. Tesla presented Edison with Batchelor's letter, which purportedly read, I know of two great men, and you are one of them. The other is this young man. Edison, impressed by Tesla's recommendation, hired him to work at the Edison Machine Works. Tesla wasn't aware, however, that his own philosophy regarding the future of electricity differed so greatly from that of his idol. Tesla advocated for the superiority of alternating current, while Edison staunchly supported DC, or direct current. DC was eventually proven impractical for most long-distance electricity needs, but it still exists in devices like computers, LEDs, solar cells, and electrical vehicles. This conflict underscored much of Edison and Tesla's disagreements while collaborating with one another. One of the most famous disagreements between the two inventors revolved around a task Edison set for Tesla. Edison offered Tesla $50,000 if Tesla could successfully redesign Edison's inefficient DC generators. Tesla worked tirelessly on the project and presented a solution that significantly improved the generators. However, when he asked about the payment, Edison reportedly said, Tesla, you don't understand our American humor and refused to pay the promised amount. This incident, whether apocryphal or not, exemplifies the differing values between the two inventors that eventually led to Tesla leading Edison's employment. Renewed after his competition with Edison, Tesla set to work championing the advantages of AC power and striking out into self-governed research. Tesla sought financial backing for his own independent experiments. In 1899, Tesla moved to Colorado Springs, Colorado, where he established a laboratory with the financial backing of business magnate John Jacob Astor IV, among others. Colorado Springs offered Tesla the isolation he desired for his large-scale experiments and natural conditions conducive to research on high-voltage and high-frequency electricity. Tesla's experiments in Colorado Springs were groundbreaking. He constructed a giant coil known as the magnifying transmitter, capable of generating millions of volts of electricity. The transmitter created electrical discharges that could be heard and seen from miles away, illustrating the potential of wireless energy transmission. In his work on atmospheric electricity, Tesla even claimed to have artificially created lightning, bridging the gap between the realms of humans and gods. One of Tesla's most significant achievements in Colorado Springs was the development of his theory regarding the Earth as a conductor for resonant frequencies. Tesla discovered that if he could generate a standing electrical waves in the Earth, essentially treating the planet as a conductor, they could transmit electrical energy without wires to any location on Earth. This concept was, of course, revolutionary and formed the basis of his later work on wireless transmission of electrical power. Building on these successes, Tesla embarked on his most ambitious project yet, the Wardenclyffe Tower, located in Shoreham, Long Island, funded primarily by the financier JP Morgan. Wardenclyffe Tower was designed to be the first station in a network that would allow for global wireless communication and energy transmission. The tower, standing some 187 feet tall and topped with a 55-ton conductive dome, was intended to transmit signals, messages, and even free wireless energy across the Atlantic to other parts of the world. However, the project encountered significant financial difficulties. Additional funding from JP Morgan became scarce as Tesla's promise of commercial viability became increasingly dubious. When Marconi's transatlantic radio transmission aired in 1901, using a much cheaper, more practical technology, Tesla's project lost steam. By 1905, the project was abandoned, and the tower never became operational. Tesla faced a critical setback, unable to prove the feasibility of his visionary ideas for wireless energy transmission. In a cruel ending, the Wardenclyffe Tower was dismantled in 1917 to pay off Tesla's debts. Despite the failure of Tesla's personal experiments, his ideas about wireless communication presaged the development of the modern radio and Wi-Fi networks. As investors abandoned his work, Tesla moved into a more obscure phase of his life. 
disappearing from public spotlight, rumors spread around his previous experiments and current whereabouts. His enigmatic personality certainly didn't help matters. As outlandish theories of secret government projects and suppressed technologies began to spring up. Modern theories float about Tesla's time in Colorado Springs. One common theory suggests that Tesla discovered ways to generate free or nearly free energy, but the powerful industrialists or governments suppressed his inventions in this area due to their financial dependence on fossil fuels. A similar suspicion was thrown on Tesla's Warden Cliff Tower project, with theorists assuming that the owners of the power distribution systems thwarted Tesla's successes in the wireless tra energy transmission by sabotaging his funding. Not all conspiracy theories view Tesla in such a sympathetic light, however. Tesla claimed in his later years to have developed a direct energy weapon, colloquially known as the Death Ray. This Death Ray could supposedly shoot down aircraft from 200 miles away. Naturally, the words Death Ray are enough to ignite the imagination of speculators, despite no evidence of such invention ever having existed. When the US government confiscated all of Tesla's belongings in 1943, this only added to the onlooker's suspicion. Some claim Tesla's research contributed to weather control devices and mind manipulation projects such as the HARP, which stands for High Frequency Active Oral Research Program. Even more fantastical theories spawned from here, such as linking Tesla to the Tunguska event. The Tunguska event was a massive explosion in Siberia in 1908 that flattened trees over an area of 2,150 square kilometers. Some conspiracy theorists speculate that this was a result of one of Tesla's inventions, perhaps a death ray or wireless energy transmission gone awry. While this is just baseless speculation, the actual accepted explanation is quite shocking in itself. Scientists believe the blast was caused by an airburst of a meteorite. Many of Tesla's accomplishments were achieved by the end of his experiments in the Colorado Springs area. By the late 1920s and into the 1930s, Tesla had spent most of his considerable fortune on numerous projects that were highly speculative such as the aforementioned death ray. This shift in focus alienated him from the scientific community, and his lack of business acumen, combined with his undisciplined spending habits, slowly took their toll. As a result, Tesla ended up drifting from hotel to hotel in New York, amassing significant debts, and living in a relatively isolated life. Hotels would often allow him to stay out of respect for his contributions to science, despite his inability to pay. Having isolated himself from science, and only having a few friends and family, Tesla's final years were lonely. He died alone in his room from a coronary thrombosis at the New Yorker Hotel on January 7th, 1943, at the age of 86. At the time of his death, Tesla was largely forgotten by the public, and many of his groundbreaking contributions to science and technology were not widely recognized. Tesla's effects were seized by the United States Office of Alien Property and Custodianship. Despite his naturalized American citizenship, seemingly closing out his life as a bright star that fizzled out into non-existence. Of course, in the years following Tesla's death, there has been a resurgence of interest in his work, as well as his legacy. His nephew, Salva Kosanovich, eventually received his belongings from the US government, which are now housed in the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade, Serbia. As his work reached the people once more, his genius was fully appreciated again. Museums, memorials, and electrical engineering awards have been established in his name and he has become a symbol of innovation, perseverance, and the pursuit of scientific knowledge. Tesla's life and work have become a rich source of inspiration in pop culture, reflecting his status as a cultural icon. Films, novels, and television series frequently portray him as a misunderstood genius, often highlighting his rivalry with Edison and his struggles against the business interests of the time. This portrayal taps into the broader narrative of the lone inventor, battling societal and financial challenges to bring about technological progress. Perhaps the most famous depiction of recent history is David Bowles' portrayal of Nikola Tesla in 2006 Christopher Nolan film, The Prestige. In the film, Tesla's inventions offer the chance of astounding spectators with feats akin to magic. Though it may seem quite quaint from our modern point of view, this is exactly how Tesla's experiments would have felt during his time. The prestige conveys a feeling of wonderment to a modern audience. Tesla is much loved by video game creators and players alike. With many titles featuring weapons inspired by his inventions, his knack for futuristic technology makes him fitting for characters and variations in the steampunk and science fiction games. 
where players can often use Tesla-inspired weapons and gadgets. Command & Conquer Red Alert, for example, features Tesla coils as defensive weapons. The Tesla vs. the Lovecraft game leans more into the internet-era fascination with geniuses from the turn of the century, pitting Tesla in fictional battles against Lovecraft's cosmic horrors. Literature leans into the misunderstood genius aspect of Tesla's personality. Works like The Invention of Everything Else by Samantha Hunt and Tesla, A Portrait with Masks by Vladimir Pistalo offer fictionalized accounts of Tesla's life, blending historical facts with imaginative storytelling to update his visionary ingenuity for contemporary audiences. Naturally, as an inventor, Tesla's theoretical concepts have inspired numerous science fiction stories where authors envision alternate realities shaped by Tesla's ideas or technologies derived from his work. Although Tesla never saw the success he should have in his lifetime, he has since risen to the status of one of the greatest inventors in history. Tesla is now celebrated as a pioneer of modern electrical engineering, wireless communication, and renewable energy. The scientific community has honored Tesla's contributions through numerous awards and recognitions that bear his name. The most notable of these is the Tesla Unit T, adopted by the International System of Units in 1960 for the measure of magnetic flux density, signifying the fundamental impact of his work on electromagnetism. In terms of awards, the IEEE Nikola Tesla Award, established in 1975, is presented annually to individuals or teams that have made astounding contributions to the generation or utilization of electrical power. Given Tesla's zest for research, it only makes sense that his name is associated with numerous institutions dedicated to science and engineering education. Buildings, laboratories, and research centers at universities around the world proudly display Tesla's name. The Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade, Serbia, houses some of his personal items, patents, and technical drawings, serving as a central repository for his work and a place of pilgrimage for those interested in his life. Of course, the relation that most likely jumps to mind in 2024 is when we hear Tesla as in Tesla Inc, Elon Musk's electrical vehicle and clean energy company. The choice of name reflects the company's commitment to sustainable energy and a vision deeply aligned with Tesla's own ideas about renewable energy sources. The philosophy behind Tesla's inventions, such as the bladeless turbine, still fuel Tesla Inc's philosophy today, albeit with a heavier emphasis on business acumen than what Tesla actually possessed. And perhaps Tesla's only failing being a dreamer at the time when the electronics industry was moving too fast. To carefully consider the route taken, even while conceiving fantastical visions of the future, Tesla developed inventions and theories that remain a staple in education of engineers, physicists, and inventors today. He embodies the relentless spirit of innovation powered by imagination that guides so many young scientists nowadays. Of course, Tesla's ideas shape the utilities of our everyday lives, but his influence is more than that. Tesla's memory reminds aspiring inventors that history remembers those who take pride in their work, who push boundaries, and do so even though they face criticism. Thanks for watching.